Welcome to the Dataflow Group video guide to walk you through the process of completing the primary source verification application for the Saudi Commission for Health Specialties. To begin, go to www.dfgateway.com. If this is your first time to register with us, enter the email ID you wish to use in order to sign up for a new account. Read the terms and conditions, tick I agree and confirm. You will receive an email on your registered email ID along with an activation link. Click on the link, create your password and submit. You are now ready to log in. If you have registered with the Dataflow group previously, you will just need to enter your email ID and you will be asked to enter your password on the next screen. If you forget your password, click Forgot Password, enter your email ID and submit. You will then receive an email with a link to reset it. The dashboard allows you to start a new application or to complete and submit a case that was previously started. Click on Start Application to create a new case. To complete the Licensing Details section, click on SCFHS Logo. Select your application and case type, category, subcategory and service type. Under Package, select the option with Health Licence if your profession is regulated and you hold a licence. If you don't have a licence, select the option without licence in order to submit your employment details. If you need help to know which ones are applicable to your profession, check our applicant kit available on our website. Please be careful, this selection cannot be changed once you move to the following section. If you select a wrong type or category, you will need to start a new application. If you have more than one document to verify from any type of checks, simply click on Add to reach the required count. If you would like to add a new document under a check that is not part of the selected package, click on Add Document. Select from the drop list the name of the hospital or medical centre you are applying to work for. If you don't have an employer in KSA yet, select I don't have an allocated facility. If you are unable to find your facility, select Other Facility and manually enter the name. Read the terms and conditions, tick the box and click on Next. On the Personal Details section, click on Upload and drag or upload a clear scanned copy of your passport. If the file uploaded is not clear, you will get two options to choose from. Try again to upload another file or manually enter your passport details. Check the details and make updates if required, then submit. Please make sure you double check these details very carefully as errors in this data will likely cause delays to the processing of your case. Complete the fields marked with an asterisk, enter your mobile phone number and generate a one-time password. Enter the OTP received by SMS to validate it, then click on Next. On the Verification Details section, fill in the details of each check. Always start with the issuing authority name. A pop-up will open to allow you to enter the name of your university, institute, employer, or any other organisation that issued your document. If we have the name on file, we will pre-populate some of the data for you. If we do not recognise the name, click on I cannot find my issuing authority from the list to manually enter the name and country. If there are no mandatory requirements for the selected issuing authority, tick the box and submit. If you see any mandatory requirements for the selected issuing authority, make sure you read them carefully and provide all the required information and documents. Failing to comply with the list will result in delaying your report. For each check, complete the fields marked with an asterisk and upload the mandatory documents. For each document you upload, you need to specify its type from the drop list. To move from one section to another, click Next. To go back to a previous page to make edits or corrections, click Back. If at any time you would like to leave the application, click on Save to avoid losing the data. You will be able to find it from the Check Your Status on the Dashboard page. On the Letter of Authorization section, 
click on Consent. Scroll through the letter, then click on Consent. Click on Download PDF if you would like to keep a copy of this letter for your reference. Click Finish, then Next. Now that you have completed all the sections, go through the provided details. In case you would like to make any changes or corrections, click on Edit and you will be directed to the desired section. You may also download a copy of the entire application for your reference. Once ready to proceed, click on Submit Application. Review the amount and click on Submit Application. Select your preferred payment method, enter the details of your credit card and click on Pay. Once the verification of your case is completed, we will notify you by email and your report will become available for SCFHS. We hope you found this video useful. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel to receive notifications of similar videos as they are published. We also invite you to watch our other videos to learn how to track the status of your application or to apply for any other regulator. Reach out to our applicant support team if you have any questions related to a case that you've submitted. The contact details are in the text below.